All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Talk of This Podcast. And what better way to start off than saying Happy New Year to all of our listeners. I hope um, you ended the last year off well and wishing nothing but success for you coming with this new year, 2023. But with that, got a lot to talk about, guys. Where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? Well, we played this game was Liverpool. They got soundly beaten today by Brentford. Was it 3-1? Was this 4? 3-1. So, I actually have, I, since we're talking about Liverpool, I do actually have a question um, that I want to start off. Is 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 this is, is this the end for, for Virgil van Dijk? Man. I remember last year, the year before, they were shouting, best defender the Premier League has ever seen. Did not age well at all. Honestly, I don't think it's his, it, it's his fault. I think it's strength. Some off at halftime. That's kind of, that's embarrassing, but I think they subbed him off because Klopp wanted to try to mount a comeback. Maybe that was his rationale. I mean, the team did play better when with one with the subs. Not saying that maybe his position was one of the ones they were attacking. Because if we if we want to point any fingers, Alexander Arnold has has to get a lot of that finger pointing blame as well. But still, also getting all that finger hating pointing blame, man. I, I mean, no, it is, what it is. this is not without this is not without reason today, though. What? It's not without reason today, though. They were cooking him on his side. He, he cooking gets cooking him every other game. But I, I'm, I'm not even going to blame – well, because we've known this about Trent for years now, for, for years. So I, I stopped blaming Trent after the first season, and I'm going to blame another person that you've all just skipped over. Like, he doesn't exist. Like, he's not important. Ooh. How about blaming Klopp? Can, can we blame Klopp? Does 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 that exist or, around here? Can, can we blame Jurgen Klopp like at all, or is he just like, well, all the blame? I, I I don't understand how they just like became so bad at defending all of a sudden this year. Like they they were never this bad. I guess Klopp does have a role to play. Maybe but... wait wait wait. Maybe um what's his name? Virgil was covering up in his golden years the fact that they were always this bad at defending. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe Sadio Mane really was that dude and he was just I mean like, really just the, the engine and their focal point to their press. Maybe. I, I mean, think over the years Jurgen Klopp's like defense worse. has never been that impressive without Virgil Van Dijk. Ever in his career, so doesn't get any worse. So I'm just saying, at some point in time, the coach got to get the blame. Like, right? Like, am, am, am I crazy or am I just? Like, so hold on, wait. So question. So is he to blame for Nunez? I was just about to bring that guy up. You no, can't blame that because it wasn't like because it wasn't like he would. He got plenty of chances today. I mean, he did get, like, what, a few half chances or whatever. But, like, overall, when you look at his performance, oh, you could say you could say a lot of the games that Liverpool has lost is, is due to them not taking advantage of the, of the chances that do come across in the final third. And oftentimes, this season anyways, the person at the end of those chances has been Nunes off firing it off wide, skying the ball, manufacturing different ways to go ahead and miss that shot. So his status is that is I mean not his status, but his lack thereof of a goal scoring threat. Is that blame on Klopp? Could you blame Klopp for that? 
you wouldn't at all. I don't think I don't think you can blame Klopp for that. Would you? I know. Klopp, where where does Klopp come into play with that? Nunez didn't sign himself. Nunez doesn't play himself. Nunez doesn't pick himself to play. Yeah, N- Nunez gets yes. N- I agree that Nunez should get get part of the blame, but part of blame has to go to the coach. Like you see how we're blaming Chelsea coaches. Every little thing. Oh, why didn't you figure this out? Why didn't you? But the Jurgen club just scares away. I mean, I'm not blaming the Chelsea manager, although we'll it's talk okay. to that when we get there. We'll, we'll blame, not even Chelsea, we'll, we will blame Conte, Antonio Conte, Conte. I mean, he is to blame over at Dogman, let's Every be other honest. coach gets blamed, but Jurgen club is there a sweetheart? Come and give his little excuse. He's like, oh, uh, you cannot blame the players. Uh, they really work hard. It's just the fixtures. The, the, the fixtures are really close together. Like, and then you just they also blame the referee too. All the criticism and everything. Oh, Darwin Nunes. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm just making sure that we understand each other here. So Jurgen Klopp gets zero blame whatsoever. No, it's not. It's not zero. I just don't think it's a, it's a substantial amount because there's only so much the coach can do. And when you when they and you're right, you know he, he Nunes didn't buy himself. He doesn't blame himself. <laughs> but like all of a sudden, what happened to the form that you were showing at, at, um, at this place? And you mean Benfica? Yeah. Yeah. When I, was, I can't, honestly, I can't. I can't over overly blame him like that because. We've seen this before, you know. Like I can't just go crazy. Like oh my god! Like we've seen this before. Players have played great. Others: Spain, France, Portugal, Germany. Oh, really? To really get flopped, that happens all the time. So I can't totally like blame him. I can't even blame most of it on him because you got this player knowing that could happen because. He's never played in the Premier League ever. And we've seen this happen from more prolific players than even him. So, so you saying that. Give him some blame, but I can't, like, I can't give him all the blame without putting Jurgen Klopp's name in this. So, wait, hold on. Uh, that's where you confuse me, though. So, that I just want one piece of clarification from you. How much, how, what percentage do you give to, to him to it just be an, oh, it's 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 first year Premier League jitters or or however you would describe it. Forty five. Forty five percent is first year Premier League jitters. Yeah. If that no, if that's I'm 40, saying, I'm giving forty five percent of the blame to the player and fifty five to club. So Darwin Nunes, I'm giving fifty five to Jurgen Club. But they have to play him though. Like they've they've invested in him. They they gotta keep playing. It looks like he he knows how to score. He's just like. He's just off to a bad start. And he has scored a couple of goals already. I think he has like four or five in the league. Like so a, a couple in the So, so the just made the point that he's clearly not that bad. So he's, he's, he's not terrible, but some of his yeah, things, the, the form he's <laughs> on is kind of how did you know what Like it's so, like miraculous somehow. I mean, I love to see like it. It's I'm fun saying. Thank you for making my point, Shrek. Like I'm saying, when does Jurgen Club get to eat, eat some of this blend pie? That's all I'm saying. I'm the, for his fine though, like Salah has not been up to his usual goal scoring streak. Uh, Firmino nowhere to be found. Uh, here's the thing: Salah, Salah has been. So this is who Salah, Salah is. is when Salah's not, not, when Salah's not scoring goals, this is who he is. <laughs> he's been yeah. scoring. He, he's he's pretty cool now. Salah is not. I mean, let's see. Salah's been scoring. I don't. You, you can look at the stats. He goals. Hmm. Yeah, he's been scoring. He hasn't looked hot to me. I I feel like he scored like three in one game. He said he how much? He has seven goals and four assists in the league. Yeah, that's not a lot. It's fourteen games. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit. I mean, he's. They, who else is Holland? Like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying you don't have to be Holland, but yeah. Rashford already has 11 league goals. Hmm? Rashford already has 11 league goals. 
Who? Rashford. Kind of surprising. Yeah, Rashford is good. Like he's, it's not like Rashford is a bum. What do you mean? I'm not saying he's the, he's not a bum, but I'm not saying he's a bum. But the guy has already doubled his goal scoring from that he's all that he's already scored in all of the last season. And we're actually not even halfway through. Rashford only has six goals, bro, and three assists. Okay, what? Are you guys talking about Premier League goals? Yeah, in the Premier League. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm well, 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 is, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what Rashford has to do with this. I'm trying to play Salah. Salah is seven and four. Rashford is a six and three. Yeah. So, it, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Not, it's not, yeah. No, Salah is looking weird. I don't know. The whole team is just out of. It's looking just fine. Out of, form, it's, out of shape. I guess we will get better for them. But it wasn't the one that sold my day. And was okay with money. Money was a ma- major loss for them. You feel Not me? Have I, I don't know if Klopp was okay with money leaving. I don't know if Klopp was against it and he fought hard for money to stay, or if he was just like, oh, okay, fine. Wasn't I think the I whole thing was just they couldn't. He, Klopp he wanted to get paid like, like like on the same level as Salah and Van Dijk again paid, and Liverpool weren't willing to to drop that money on him, so. Yeah, he left. He wants to buy him. Yeah. He got paid. It's crazy. Yeah. Two highest players, the two highest paid players are the ones that leak in goals. Yeah. 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 It's sad, but, you know, their their team is just out of sync. I don't... I think the blame probably should go to Klopp first yeah, and foremost because... <laughs> you feel me? Like... They aren't, they aren't <laughs> a bad team. They still have a pretty good squad. I, I just think he... There's something breaking down. Maybe it's like, you know, like, Chelsea managers, after like three seasons, it all starts going downhill. Maybe it's Klopp's time, his decline as a coach. Maybe it's just burnt out. The players are burnt out. You know, it, it, they don't have the same personnel on the same level. Anybody blame Klopp? Nobody wants. Nobody's gonna blame blame Klopp. Like blame Van you know? Dijk for being terrible. They gonna no, blame. I, I think the agenda is for their own goal. Nobody's gonna play. It's, it's Trent and Nunez. I'm just here to like be objectively like, yo. Is right the, away, I'm gonna go to the head coach. Okay. Right away, um, Van Dyke was subbed off because he felt something in this. this yeah, he was probably injured. That's what I'm saying. That, that you would you would not sub off a player like Van Dyke, bro. <laughs> you wouldn't do it unless he's like I said, he's injured. He has to be injured. Well, let's see. Just don't see it. Happens. I believe it when the reports come. Yep, you know, winning, though. It's a, a week to the training reports. It's the man goes through the week healthy and with training. It was just nonsense. But with that, um, no, as bad as Liverpool have been, they haven't really been bad. Before this loss, they won their last four games in a row in the Premier League. Yeah, they, they, they've been good for them. You know, like they're still, they're still managing to win these games. Like, uh, you yeah. know, they beat, beat Spurs, Leicester, Aston Villa. Southampton, not really a good team. Mm-hmm. Bradford is a really good team. What, they, they didn't think they beat City? We drew against them. Um, they, 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 they beat, did they beat Spurs? They only lost to Arsenal. I think I mean everybody's beating Spurs these days, so I'm not. I no need to even mention that as as part of the resume. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I mean on that note, no, no, no. For real, on that note, let's let's discuss. Let's discuss because this is a hapless Spurs fight. They <laughs> lost two 0 to to Ashton Villa, and they were never in the game. Never okay. in the game. Let's let's let me. Why is this so this. funny when Spurs? <laughs> let me say this though. Let me say this though. I have to give credit to Una Emery, all right? I can't just hmm. overlook that. Nice. You know, as much as I'm going to bash Jurgen Klopp, I'm going to give credit to Una Emery. So, yeah. Una That's Emery. You can, you, can give, you can give Ashton Villa their flowers. They did a phenomenal... Uh, no, actually, they're not, let me take that back. They went against Spurs. That's all I have to say. But you can you can give them their flowers. You still have to win the game, Marcus. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, score the goal. That's you have to be better off than him. You are right, and they beat um Brighton. You are so you are right. But when but when the Spurs when Spurs when the Spurs walk up in there, and they're pretty much like a glory hole, so, except in all types of <laughs> except in all types of of 
action. Spurs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, sit sit here and say Spurs didn't help them, but it wasn't like it helped them. Spurs gave them the the answers to the test, bro. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, it it wasn't it, it wasn't an easy game though. It, it wasn't an easy game for Ashton Villa. I I feel like Ashton Villa took that game more than Spurs. Like like Spurs made it easy, but Spurs didn't flop. You know what I'm saying? They didn't just. Just come yeah, out like, like oh, it looks like they did you know, a whole like whole lot of nothing it, in that game because yeah, they, had they, they, they didn't do a whole lot of nothing. Two they shots didn't, they didn't chase two, two possession the game. Like I, I, I would say, just my observation, they weren't ch- hungrily chasing. They thought they would, they, they, they could just come in and walk around and win that that game. Basically, they they played they played down. To what they're used to Ashton Villa playing. But Ashton Villa is coming in like, uh, we got Una Emery. We play a better system now. You think this is Gerard Ball? No, this is Emery Ball. You're in for a rude awakening. And then took the game to them and never let Spurs get any rhythm whatsoever. So I will give credit to Ashton Villa. You can go ahead and bash Antonio Conte. <laughs> yeah. Antonio, listen, I already been, I already discussed my feelings on Antonio Conte a few episodes back. For for I think the every every all good things come to an end. <laughs> eras eras come and pass, and I feel like I feel like we're starting to see. I feel like we're starting to see Conte's error come come oh, to a halt. Probably the biggest mistake of his career. Going to you Spurs, because you you know he was only there for a good time, not not a long time. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about era, era at Spurs. I'm talking about for the greater, bigger picture because this is his issues right now. This is going back to during his time with Inter, and I know he they won a scudetto during his time at Inter, but I feel like that is more due to the surroundings being. Terrible, and by surroundings I mean all the other teams. Because remember, it was during the COVID year. That year was all messed up. So, so there were certain advantages. Teams weren't playing up to par. So, hey, you can only you can only do with what you can. So he took advantage. But I'm just saying, if you were to be the manager of Inter right now in this current climate at Syria, bro, I'm think I would be looking at we'd be looking at similar. What to what he's doing in Spurs right now? I so I'm like, you. you were saying what? I disagree with you, man. Um, oh, okay, I'm listening. I disagree with that because um, just off of that fact that he won the Scudetto with Inter. That's not the first championship he's won. He's won with Chelsea. Like he's he's won before. And besides, I think I never said he didn't win before. I'm just saying. Chelsea was the only team that he got fired for from my role. And now that I look at the table, they, he didn't just run away with the title. He he he, he won that title with two points over him. Yeah, but still, right he there, still all the big time. He ran away. He right. won. Napoli was was seventy nine, but like Inter were with them all the time. Napoli is a decent team. I he think the thing with Conte is. Conte has so, been a great coach. He's won everywhere he's gone to, everywhere. And but he, now he's at Spurs. Biggest mistake of his career. He should have gone and to Man U when he had and, go, and that's why I'm telling Marcus, he's going to leave and go to another big club. <laughs> he's Antonio Conte. He's won everywhere he's been at, except for Spurs. But still, when the Spurs is that, impossible. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, think, even, I don't think even Conte can't win them a trophy. Like. The it's only just, place, the only place that he's been fired at is Chelsea, right? That's where the mm-hmm. only club to fire him. Inter, Listen, he left. I know his history. <laughs> I'm just saying, moving forward, yeah. and I don't think he see any major and, trophies and, and, in his future. We didn't fire him for cause. Uh, when Chelsea, when, and even when Chelsea fired him, he wasn't he wasn't fired for cause. He he. He won the lawsuit against the club, so it's like we we shouldn't have. True, so we have sacked them. He was fired without cause. He exactly. He because I mean, he wanted to get sacked. If he was the, the following year, that must mean that he fulfilled his contract 
Details. Yeah, yeah, he he performed according to his contract and according he, to his contract, he, he, and, he and won they still fired him exactly. So, Marcus, I don't see so I what <laughs> you're. It's like he, he has a like, content. I don't know why he hates content. It's like content. Now I understand. I understand. Maybe no. I, I feel like I feel like it has to do with your playing style. You don't really like what this playing. Conte ball. But you like club playing style. Um, am I wrong? No, I, I prefer if I, I do prefer yeah. close play style. Well, Conte is think, a winner, man. I don't I, I don't think I don't think that plays into a role. I just, I just think I just think his his among other things, to start off his play style, one, I think is a dying breed. I don't think I don't think is is there's there's much success that can be garnered from it anymore. I mean look at Atletico. I just, and and Diego Simeone, I just the same way. I don't see any major futures and uh, futures, any major trophies, no, sorry. any major trophies coming for Diego Simeone in the future. I don't really see any more major trophies coming for Didn't Antonio Conte win, blah, blah, unless Antonio Conte moves on to be an international coach. That's a completely different ball game. But other than that, as a club manager, I don't I don't think he's gonna be. I don't see any. I don't see any Champions Leagues. I don't see any. Diego Simeone went two seasons ago. What is it? Diego Simeone for like two years ago. Yeah, again, again, just like, just like it was, first off, it was COVID year, and second, just like, just like, just like what I mentioned with with Inter, everybody else was terrible around them. So, Marcus, when Man City won the COVID the world, world. year, are we also the, saying this? If you want to knock out our COVID year, you can. Go ahead. We just have plenty of years before and after that, too. So, Marcus, hey, do you think? the Premier League during COVID year? Right. We did not, don't worry about it. went through the same COVID year. If you just want to knock it out, if you just want to knock it out, that's fine. If you want to put an asterisk, that's fine. We just have it right before, right after. The, the Man City can at least prove prove their worth. What I'm saying is, Conte, Conte, and 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 Diego Simeone with, with can. Well, Conte and Diego Simeone have a history of winning trophies, and Simeone winning trophies is way it's huge. When especially when have Real Madrid, Diego Simeone has been. Diego, Fun fact, Diego Simeone has been as far as the same length in the Champions League as Man City. Yeah. Did you know that? They've gone the same length. They reached the final. final against Madrid. I think they I lost 3-0, but... So, what I'm saying is, bro, <laughs> either argument could be made for... Oh, okay, COVID year. Man City won in COVID year. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Look, I would never want Diego Simeone to be my coach. I respect him. It COVID season, right? When Chelsea won the Champions League final. So, yeah. like, come on, man. COVID year. <laughs> the team still... Man, all I'm saying is, though. Not knocking out the COVID year. I'm just saying during that year, the level of competition... It was the next year. We're severely... severely were severely under par. The so next year we won the Champions League, not the COVID year. Because COVID year was right. uh, Lampard. Then you're, he got fired read, the next you're season. Actually about, you're actually right about the level of competition because I remember during that year, um, like half the teams in the Premier League were missing half their team. Except for Man City. Funny enough, Man City was the Excellent. only team that never caught the COVID bug. So we yes. definitely should stop with that asterisk next to that time. Listen, if you want to put an asterisk, like I said, I don't care. We, say, what is we, we won the year before that. We won, we won the year the the year after that with the gap year. COVID shoot us up. We finished fourth with Lampard. Like, come on, bro. I think that's an achievement that, that Man City when you walk in, walk in the COVID league. And then he, you want to bring other guys to no, the Premier League? No, no, you're listen, you're, bro. No. All I'm, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is there was a lack of competition level during that year. And they took advantage of it. 
Did think- Man City also take advantage of it? Sure. I'm not giving. I'm not. I'm not combating that argument. Be- be- because of all the important players that were missing from all the. Bro, big- go look up. Go look up La Liga that year. Go look at Barcelona that year. Stop it. What? What about Barcelona? Let's see what happens. What about them? I mean, I I I don't understand the excuses you want to give. First, we cannot put the asterisk next to what next to AC Milan's win like, because they were consistently performing at that level, and then they finally won. No, I have nothing to say about AC Milan. Do you want to say Inter? Now let's say um, let's go to Inter. Now. I mean, okay, go to Inter. Conte won the yeah. Scudetto with Lukaku. Lunchaku. You're saying that like a, that, that, like Lukaku right. didn't score a career did. number of goals that year. Yeah, yeah he, he, he went, went, he went, went crazy Conte. that year. That's what went I'm crazy. saying. That's why I'm giving Conte credit. Like, like <laughs> because after he left, now he's wait, wait, wait. He's back in Inter. How many goals does he have? He's been injured all year. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Is that Conte's fault? He was healthy. He was healthy, yes, with Conte. He was most confident with Conte. He was at his best with Conte. Give the guy credit. Say he's at his best, Conte. <laughs> yeah. So the argument is, is like Conte made the best out of Lukaku. Like, I did it like it was Turn best into a best ever season. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm giving you that. Man, come on, man. <laughs> and look, I'm I'm even looking at the, the La Liga table. I let it go Madrid. They they there was competition. They're only, Bro, they're only one, they're like two game. points. Mm-hmm. Man. Like, I can't give them an asterisk for that. Like, Bro, man. Bro, like, okay, Inter. Inter, 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 when they won it, they won it by... Right? Atletico Madrid striker was, if I'm not mistaken, was a certain striker yeah, that points. Barcelona threw to the side. Atletico Madrid picked him up for pennies. I think he goes by the name of Luis Suarez, and he oh, struck them to a title, a La Liga title. Yeah. Bro, bro, I'm just saying, bro. Like, bro, bro like, what are we yeah, not, I understand what they did. I also, I also like, understand the way Real Madrid and Barcelona were playing. Cool. It was very unimpressive. So <laughs> that's all. That's all the point that I'm making. Barcelona and Real Madrid were very unimpressive that year. So I don't know, man. No, 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 no. Time, will, listen, time, time will tell. Time will tell. I said what I said on both managers. Time will tell. We just finished two points behind them. They both had 67 goals that season. Atletico and Real Madrid. Barcelona had 85 goals that season. Like so, you can't take it away from them. We're, we're unimpressed. They won La Liga with Luis Suarez and Hal Felix and Diego Costa. Like, come on, man, that's unimpressive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, man, I've said what I said on both those managers. Time will tell. I, I, I mean, I mean, time has already proven you wrong. They have just won the previous two seasons, so. I mean, yeah, it, it, I, I've, I've said going forward, I, there's no major trophies yeah, coming in their way. I will tell, but I've said coming going forward, there's no major trophies coming in their way. Trophies winning these first because he's going to upgrade no matter what. He's not going to. It's, it's impossible. Those, those to get a team what team through. is he going to? Well, I hope that's that's not a question. What team do you see Conte going to after? Any 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 team that. Any team would be lucky to have Conte. Let's just put yeah. it that way. Any, oh, any team man. that has the winning DNA will win with Conte. Or at least any team that wants mm-hmm. the winning DNA. I mean, oh, that's what Spurs okay. tried to do. I don't know why he said yes to that, but I don't know. Any team that has trouble, you know, defending. Maybe, maybe you know, Liverpool, since they have a defending issue now. That's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I know. Is, yeah. is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, that, 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 that's not going to happen. No, I'm not going to fire Klopp. I think Klopp will, if, if, I think Klopp will take advantage of this. Um, he's always been talking about going on a break. I think he will take advantage of Liverpool <laughs> being on this bad run to say, all right, it's time for me to go take my break. I don't think Liverpool is just like, it's like, the, no, they're going in the opposite of direction of the type of football they play. Like, they, they wouldn't do that. I can see I can see Conte in the Bundesliga though. 
He's not he's like, he coaches he anywhere, bro. He, he, he can coach anywhere. It's Dortmund. Dortmund. Enough it's about bad. Liverpool. Let's move on. Move up the table. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to talk about my boys right now. Let's talk about my <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. All right. Yeah, like, what else? Not much to talk about. Not much to talk about. We drew against Everton. It's tough. You know, one of the boys to finish up the game, but Everton wanted to, you know, continue that fight. <laughs> Gray had a phenomenal shot. He literally pulled it out of nowhere, literally came off the ground, slipped and fell, came off the ground to just take his first touch right into the top corner. Hey, it is what it is. Haaland is continuing his reign of terror as 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 the Norwegian king shall and should. Um uh, and yeah, everything's all looking good. Now we just need Darson to trip up at some point, but they're looking for real. Yeah. Boys are looking here. But what happened against Ever Everton though? Like what like nothing really happened. We can I mean we we are playing our best defenders. I've already told you we're one and a half we only have one and a half defenders in there. And so, Kyle Walker and Kyle Walker makes up the half because of his legs. Diaz is our full defender. Diaz has not been he's he's been injured. And so with the defense, our defend our defending roulette that we have, we're good for one mistake. Stones, and Akanji and whose fault Aki. is that, Marcus? Stones, Akanji, and Aki. I know. Whose fault is it for, for having the defenders you have? Bro, this is, this is Pep. This is where Pep comes into play. You know, he spent a lot of money on defenders and we can't get it right. Pep, Pep, Pep is not doing right by Man City's defense, right? No, no, no. Okay. no. Okay, it's but that, hey, it's just, just, injured. What's what's going on there with that defense? Like, Diaz, Cancelo. I, I've seen Cancelo didn't play. He wasn't in the squad. Injured. Injuries, injuries, bro. That's in, injuries. Yeah. It's about time. Kanzolo came, Kanzolo came back, picked up something in the training um, for the World Cup, and then Diaz has been injured. Phillips is a misfit. Okay. Phillips, yo, that, that Phillips came back fat, not a shape from the World Cup. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how you go to the World Cup and come back from the World Cup. Over crazy. <laughs> you, and, no, the crazy part is, it's one thing if you're like Messi or or or. <laughs> Uh, uh, yo, <laughs> the guy barely played the, the guy barely played in the World Cup. <laughs> That's the funny thing to me. He barely played in the World Cup and came back fat and out of shape because he didn't play. That's how's that an excuse? We supposed to stick no 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 that no 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 that tells me if he was if he was going to play he wouldn't have been ready to play. He's supposed to stay ready, bro. Hey, he he didn't he he, he figured hey I'm not gonna get to play so I might as well just chill have some pizza and some yeah you know, enjoy the, the the quick vacation you know it was in quarter. That's an indictment. That's an indictment on England. That's how you know England wasn't serious. They weren't a serious team at that World Cup. But Marcus, we've known England wasn't a serious team since they kept their coach. Since yeah. the last World Cup, we've been on this, man. Yeah. You know, this is not I mean, they, they kept them because if if they were a serious country, they would have upgraded the match. Right? Yeah, he, he took them to a final. He took them to a final, so they're not gonna. They weren't gonna get rid of him, but now they yeah, should. Man. They should now. This is time. They're not serious. They just want to look good. They just want to give their. Yeah. They they knighted him. He's a knight. But they don't he actually want to chosen. Care. If he wins them one, great. If he doesn't, bad. As long as they look good, they go far. I'm serious bad. about winning. I don't, I don't think they're really bro. serious about winning. We know what they're going to lose now. Bro. Oh, here's an alternate. Here's, here's, a, here's an alternate for Conte. Their expectation. We can't. I, I can't be. Who's an option? England. When England. They win. Oh. England, which is exactly in England. No, I don't think Kane. I don't think Kane would like that. <laughs> Harry Kane will be like, "Oh my god!" Kane <laughs> will pull off his hair. Kane will be like, "No, no, 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 no man." No, no. Kane is very fraudulent, bro. Like, no, like he scores goals for nothing. 
He, he's he's the problem. <laughs> I think he's the problem. He's he, right. he has a problem. He, 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 he just Tory Bouvard. goes and has nothing to show for it. Like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't really rate him anymore. Like, I, don't, I can't. Damn, him. that's rough. Before we so, move on from City, how many goals is Alan scoring? I think, I think he's hitting uh, 44. 40 league goals. He's I at think 34. He's at 44. At, he's, 44? At 20, he's at 21 right, right now, right? After what? 21 in 15 games. I think it was 14 games. At 32. 32? Uh-huh. He's at 21 in 14 games. So you think he's. Okay. Like, so you think he's only going to score 11 goals the rest of the way? Yeah. Well, you have over, you have I know over more than gonna break the record. The games need to play, right? Okay. So. Let's see. What's the, what's yeah, the time to amend? At least say 38. I think the record is 34. 34. For really. Yeah, he's going to get like 40. I think he's breaking it. Bro, 40, 40 is the minimum here at this point. Come on now. He's going to, I think, I think he will, it will plateau, bro. I'm telling you. He'll, he'll get 30, but. Look, look. Bro, do you know how many games he has to blink to, 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 for you, for what you're, you're saying to come true? Uh, have y'all played Southampton yet? I mean, I just they haven't like, had their stat pad game. What do you score? like four. Like, it's, it's still coming. He's like scored he back, he's back to back hat back tricks. He's done all that. I mean, I just feel like it's gonna plateau mm-hmm. at some point. Bro. That's just what I think. <laughs> okay. You know, I understand a plateau, but plateau that much. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say yeah. forty goals. Thirty goals in the season is no joke. Thirty goals in the Premier League is very hard to do. So, so, so and he's, has, already, he's already nine away. So he scored fourteen. And like how many yeah. games left is that? That's like twenty one games he scored in like less than half of those games. Bro, he scored yeah, exactly. Like one? No, there's thirty eight games. No, yeah. There's thirty eight games. Only fourteen has been played. He has twenty one. Yeah. Yes. Half so, a goal a game for the rest of the season. Yeah. Half a goal a game for the rest of the season. Yes. I mean That's like saying his per- Yo, you're pretty much predicting his current production falls off a cliff. Not even a plateau, yeah. just falls off a cliff. The, the yeah, way the way like, he played, it's too like, easy no, for him this, to score yeah, goals. Like, like thirty goals in one season is like, uh, like that's a lot of goals. I'm not saying it's just, I agree with you, it's a lot of goals, but I'm just I'm just making I can't keep this up. I'm predicting he won't keep it up. Yeah, I'm predicting he stays hot. I'm, the only one, I, the only thing that that's all I'm saying. The only I, I think no, the, you. all I'm saying is all I'm saying is I I'm not saying he's gonna keep up the streak the entire way of of throughout the game. Saying, I'm well, just saying, look at the look at the pace. He, look at, he, would, he would have to stay hot the entire season to get to, to score more than thirty to score more than thirty four. I don't think it's gonna score With the way Man City play, play, it's it's almost too easy for him to get goals. So I don't really see it dropping unless he gets injured. I might be wrong. All right, I, I might be wrong. All I'm you might is, burn out. You know, the Premier League is not easy, but he's a, he's a he's a he's a machine. It's the Premier League, bro. It's pretty. The Premier League is pretty tough. I'm not even saying he's gonna get injured. Take injury up. All he's I'm making, saying is he's making it look really easy, though. I think. He is going to come back down to earth. That's all I'm saying. Because he's playing out of earth, out of the universe. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying. All I think, me thinks that seeing what over the years of 30 goal scorers, they've started like this. We've seen this before. And then they kind of settle down, come down to earth. Just plateau out. You see it as a crazy drop off. I just see it as okay. Let's 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 all right. Come back down to earth, Halan. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's it's okay to score thirty goals in the season. That's 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 pretty good, bro. But if you think he's gonna stay red hot all season, and get forty, maybe. maybe. Fun fact: because it's early Halan and it's Bad City. 
and I wouldn't put it past him, but I just think he's going to come back down, you know, to a human. Here's a, here's a fun fact for, for us Chelsea fans. Alan has That's... scored more goals than Chelsea in the Premier League. So? Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, Messi, Messi and Ronaldo have scored more goals than a lot of clubs consistently throughout their years. So, <clears throat> Mbappe has scored more and, goals than most of the clubs already. <laughs> I'm, leaving. I'm not crying. <laughs> like, hey man, yeah. I just I need a Chelsea attacker to get to ten goals this season. We're not like we we need. Let's just talk. Let's just talk about Chelsea real quick. Like. What, what, yeah. like, like, what is, like, what's going on here, bro? Like, what are we doing? Like, Potter ball, harem ball. Like, it, it, it looks like they don't, they don't know what they're doing. Like, we watched the game, we discussed it, but Graham Potter, he's 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 here to stay. He's not going anywhere. I guess we're having our um. You know how all these teams, Arsenal had their three years before they finally became relevant under Arteta. Pep had like a season or two. Klopp had like three himself. I guess this is where Chelsea is now. So I don't think so. I think, I think what you what Chelsea is going through right now is um, you guys created this mess because what you're seeing now is the street repercussions from spending 200 or whatever some odd million that you spent in the summer while Tuchel was your manager yeah, and firing Tuchel at the end of it and giving that team with all that spent money to Potter and be like, hey, this is what you got to work with. Fix it. I think but this is what you're seeing. But it's it's not like those players are, are, are like terrible. There are still decent players that can be, that can play well in the right system. That's it. And yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Again, that's what I'm saying. It's permanently injured. Like, we've had huge injuries, too. But it's like, he's part of still has a decent group to work with. But he just hasn't figured it out. It looked really good at the beginning, but it's kind of just went downhill from there. I don't know. I don't think he has a decent group for what he wants to play, what he wants to do. I mean, at Brighton, he had a back four. Tuchel, the entire time he had, he, he's, he had um, Chelsea under his tutelage, played with a back three. All that money this summer was spent with the idea of a back three. So just from that right there, I think that's two fundamental differences just in in what they want to do on the pitch. So but, just but, just with that. It, But Grand Potter was also brought in because he, he often played in a back three with Brighton, though. Like, he has played that system with Chelsea. Now he's switching into a back four. Our last two games, like but you have to remember with those players, we can. Well, you have to remember with the the makeup he had. The makeup he had at Brighton is a bit different than what you, what's available at at Chelsea. He has a better squad to work with at the end of the day. So I I, I just feel like once it clicks, we'll start getting better going forward. It's just gonna take a little bit. You're in there for a while now. Once it clicks, yeah, that's what it's a new manager. We're we're locked in with him. He's locked in with us. Just gotta trust the process. That's pretty much it. Like, I mean, okay, I so winning the draw. The draw was kind of it was it's kind of hard to watch that second half, but yeah, it happens. And your Sterling goals luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lucky bounce off the post, yeah. Well, hey, exactly. Very quiet over there. <laughs> you gotta take the goals when you can. Go through, talk, you know, say what y'all think, you know. I mean, you already know what like, I mean. Like, look, I've always thought so. <laughs> their entire squad, the squad needs to be like rebuilt. Like, we need to, we need to clear out a lot of players too. Like, just let them go. We need to make a Conte decision. Giorgino is on Conte on the last year of their contracts. As for the Pretas on his last year. I don't know. Harder needs to figure out what type of football he wants and, you know, whatever players he sign, he need <coughs> players that can change things. Like they're talking Enzo Fernandez. <sighs> 20 million. 
That's his release clause. We, what we need is goals. I was saying, Raphael, yeah, just get it now. Unkunku. Pay, pay whatever to get him now, because that's that's. Well, you've, you've already got you've already got that done, so. Yeah. Kung Kung was already set. That, I, I guess that was just how it was gonna go down so. for the summer, but it's like one twenty yeah, million I, for Enzo Fernandez. I think if you give uh, AC Milan that money, they're they're not gonna say no for Leal. I mean, AC Milan, you you wouldn't be able to because Leal's release was one hundred fifty million, and. Yeah. Yeah, what's if, the extra? You're not, if you're not talking about release clause, this is looking slow. Well, well, here's the thing. Um, Leo's yes, release clause no, is 150 million. It's 150 million now. It was 110 like, a year ago. So, so is it going up <laughs> this summer or down? It went up. It's 150 million now after the World mm-hmm. Cup. <laughs> but mm-hmm. before, like, Right after he won the Scudetto. No, nah, that wasn't after the World Cup. It was the says here after, um, it as like of May twenty fourth. It was like one twenty. Like after 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 he won the, we 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 very much could have gotten him back then, but we can't now. <laughs> I mean, we don't seem like we're going after him. We don't even seem like. Basically, we're not. He, He's not within like our realms of like oh like where this is a player we're pushing for to get hard like it seems like Enzo Fernandez is or that's really who we're all over and I don't know why though and I don't I don't get I don't get it I don't, I don't think he's gonna make a difference. He's gonna team. make some difference, but I don't know if it's gonna make the difference that we expect. Like, like, I don't know what we expect. Like, do we expect goals or more chances created? Like, I, I, I guess. Okay. I, I Does guess it depend? What, I don't what really think it's more chances created. Um, more of so, like a Gino replacement. I mean, I have been hearing, I have been hearing talk that Georgina wants to leave. So no, no, Georgina wants to stay. He wants a new contract. Like, There's all kinds of talk. He um, wants to stay. He's doing everything. The only thing I have to say about this season is we didn't come to this season expecting Golo Kante to be out for it the whole year. Mm-hmm. We didn't come in thinking, okay, we, we came in expecting Rich James back, but we didn't expect him to be injured again. For, for sure. sure. To be out again for the whole, you know, or for, for five hours to be it's injured just- back to back. Like these, it's the it's first so time injuries I get, but it is these back to back injuries that it's just like okay, the guy was supposed to return uh, two months back, but now it's re-injured. It's, yeah, there's re injury. I don't know if they're rushing them it's back. I don't know why they're clearing them with with, with with like like a a bench player coming to the starting lineup, but you can't go a whole season. That's why they're a bench player because they can ball out for them maybe few games, but after those, that's why they were on the bench because they don't yeah. they don't have that they don't have whatever it takes that you need in your starting line. I love that Cucurella season. So Cucurella and- clearly overspent on him, but he should be playing Alonso minutes. Chilwell should you be a legend. Wait. You can't just hope that oh, oh, like, oh, all these players like they'll figure it out, they'll get better. Well, that takes time, like mm-hmm. you know, like the time that Marcus and Lewis, like, oh yeah, we've been saying oh for how long that they well, it takes seasons. When I say time, it takes multiple seasons. Even Jurgen Klopp's first, he, so he took Jurgen Klopp like two, three seasons before we'd be like, oh wow, okay. All right, you know what I'm saying? It, it took Pep like at least two seasons before, like we're like, okay, wow, wow. But like, I think the margin for error is just even that much more slim when you're a Chelsea manager. That in your second season, they're already expecting you to be like basically winning Champions League final, which is just unrealistic. Like. If, if, if I understand that there has to be a progression, but it shouldn't, 
it shouldn't be to the point where like you know if if there's if there's even a little bit of a regression okay we just cut bait boom full because the most important time as a manager where a team gets better or worse is those times of regression when everything is falling apart. It's about how they pick themselves up. Like, look at Liverpool when they didn't have Virgil van Dijk, how they still managed to drag themselves into the Champions into, into the Champions League and eventually made the Champions League final when Virgil van Dijk came back the very next season. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's when you really find out what your team and players are made of when things are not going well. When everything is going well, yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. But when things, when the first thing goes bad, you see that it tends to most, well, most bad teams, it spirals out of control. Like it goes bad, then worse and worse and worse and worse. But that's, 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 that's bad teams. Bad teams find a way to lose badly. But I think that's just what it is. Like the players that we have, they're still young. So in order for them to grow, like that kind of winning consistent well, they have to be on the pitch. James, Day, Joel. But either way, they, they they don't have a consistent manager. This is the third manager they had to work with, you know, in the space of three mm-hmm. years. So it's true, it, it's, true, but you know, it's not, it's not as easy as most people make it out to be like, oh, boom, we're, all of a sudden we're winning titles back to back. And oh man, it, it takes seasons. I don't want to say time, seasons, <laughs> whole seasons, really. And, and, and even then, the manager still has to build the team according to his image. It's just like I keep saying. You can't put someone in a position where they're not going to be successful and then be like, why can you do it? Well, because you didn't give him the tools to be successful. It's like any job. It's like a player. If a coach plays a player in a specific position and you know the player, ah, he's shaking there, but you play him there anyway. Well, and he plays bad. <laughs> well, yeah. He's not very good at that. And you should help him out. It's the same thing with managers. It's the same thing, you know. Like a manager, number one, he needs time to really gauge what kind of squad he, he has and to try to get to the squad level that he is used to working with to implement this style of play. But if you don't give him time, it doesn't make sense. It, of course it didn't work. Of course. It makes sense why it didn't work. And at the end of the day, we have ourselves to blame. Chelsea. I mean, sorry for the long soliloquy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, man. <laughs> You're right, though. Grand Potter just need time to, like, fix the team and get them playing in how, how he wants to play. Yeah. Anybody I, I, needs- I, I, I think I think we were kind of like hoodwinked for those first couple of games after Tuchel was uh, was axed and we were playing really good and winning those games. And but you know I guess it's all you didn't draw. We we we, well, we, we won drew, like five we, we won like yeah we won like six. We literally won. Five, and then we six. we were un, we were yeah. unbeaten like our six. Hold on, wait, hold on. I think we're remembering this incorrectly now. Yeah, I think we were unbeaten like the, the first six games. Of, of we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're not being in like, like eight or nine. That's, that's it was more than that. It was like nine games on me. We right? fired um, we fired uh, Tuko. Well, after uh, Zagreb, after we lost to Dynamo Zagreb, it was September eighth. That's when he beca- That's when Grand Potter became manager. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, yeah, draw, win, 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 okay. draw, okay. draw, you win. One in a row. One lost. in a row. Right. Yeah, one, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven. Eight, so eight games mm-hmm. on. I could. And then we and, lost and, it, right? And those are right, let's let's talk about those four wins, right? I didn't think and it was. I didn't think it was that good. 
the progression of like what Porter wanted to do. It wasn't do. that good when we tore AC Milan apart. Right. But but even even in those games, those players that were playing in those games, some of them are injured. Chris James is injured. Loftus Cheek is injured. Ben injured. Fofana is done. Like, even yo, those what's are his name is done for the season. How many minutes has Fofana played in the, in the Chelsea uniform? Let's be real. Okay, he started remember watching him play. Wait, wait, wait. All those four games, win, 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 draw, win, Fofana started in all of them. He started in all of them. True. Okay. So, <laughs> like, that's a pivotal piece. Like, that's a center back in a position yep. style of football. And, 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 and look, 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 look at who he started. I just spent 40 minutes. Silva, Chilwell, James. Just what? Y'all didn't y'all just go spend forty mil on another four, uh, center back? What? Then you go just go spend forty mil on another center back? But uh, Badi Badi Ashil Benoit Badi Ashil. Man, I feel like I heard that we were trying to get him. him. I don't know if we actually got yeah. him yet or, or not. Yeah, Badi Ashil. Yeah, we were going after him. But I don't know if we actually got him though. No, yeah, it looks like he, he he's having a medical. It's confirmed. Oh. Well, I'm happy because we mm-hmm. can use all the help we Another can get back there. It seems like our center backs are dropping like flies. Oh, and it looks like we'll it see. It looks like that Enzo Fernandez deal. I'm just, I just got, I just got a notification. It's, it's expected. Y'all expected to finalize this week. That's 120 what, mil. That's that's the same notification I've been getting for two days now. Expected to find him for like a week now. I don't. I'm not really like. We'll hopefully, see. he can help out. I mean, he can. What I'm saying, what I said, said was, Anthony Fernandez is going to help, of course. But is it the kind of help that us as Chelsea fans were waiting for? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think it's what like. Oh, he's a. Maybe we're Chelsea when, expect when to finalize Enzo Fernandez this week. As his medical and joins the first team, maybe a lot of Chelsea fans will be thinking, oh, please save us. I'm not thinking that. I'm not expecting that at all from mm-hmm. Enzo Fernandez. No, we must no. get it through our heads. He's 21. He's 21. If you're thinking, come and save us, no, man. <laughs> like just calm down. <laughs> He's a twenty-one year old center midfielder. Streets are saying it's gonna be done by the end of the week. But he's so. not gonna he's not yeah. gonna he's I mean the I think it'll, it'll be it'll be a useful addition to our midfield. Yeah, of you know, course. But Dude, that's that's basically it. He's not gonna save us. Midfielder. Who the only way we're gonna get better who is who presses? He's like a pressing central midfielder. So he's like, going to help. It doesn't, doesn't matter who we sign. We just need them to play and for Potter it to... It doesn't matter who we sign, yeah. though. It, it, it does matter. Shaq's yeah. like definitely. Yeah, it, it, what, it I mean is, what I mean is there's, there's no player that we can sign that is going to fix anything instantly. Agreed. Agreed. Like, but it, like but it matters who we sign. It, it, it does. That's, if, that's if, what if I mean. It, it, it doesn't matter who you sign. It matters who you sign. All right. I mean, but yeah. your but your absolute your first statement. There is no player that is going to come in, boom, fix everything. Everything is copacetic. No. Except except Diaz because that's what Diaz did when we bought him. He came in and just like that. Our defense was up to the races. We're not talking about Man City. Why are you always talking about Man City? Nobody listen, wants to listen. Listen. <laughs> 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 so let's, let's be so familiar because I'd like to catch Marcus in these little traps. Didn't you have the year before you got Diaz and Kevin Dubrana was PFA's player of the season and everybody was riding on Man- Manchester City's you know what? Really hard. Like, and then we started off the year horrible defensively. And well, then the point you're trying to make? It was fine because. What, but but what I'm, my point about that, Marcus, is you already had a championship DNA. You already. So it's just another. Just it seemed like another addition. Championship. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Who, who did you sell? Ferran Torres? You, 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 you snake we bit made, we, Barcelona. We, it, 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 <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> you know what this? This is Businessmen. We are the businessmen. Spotify artists. <laughs> businessmen. We spent, we spent pennies on Ferran and got millions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That was, that was literally the, the oh, best yeah. deal I've seen from, like, the, the most one-sided deal I've I, I have seen like in in my life, Ferran Torres to Barcelona. It, even even Fernando Torres still paid off for us, you know. Yeah, Fernando you know, Torres eventually came good. I no, yeah, Ferran Torres has to be worse than the Fernando <laughs> Torres one. Has to. Be. All right, all right, has fellas. To. I think we talk about flop, flops in in terms of Nunes. You know, um, Torres. Who would who we just have? Um, Warner, like Warner. Is he is he reaching Warner and Fernando Torres levels? Bro, Ferran Torres is coming off the bench. That all right? That, that's all you need to know. That that that, that you should leave it at that. Just leave it at that. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. You don't even need to go any further, yeah. bro. Questions and answered. The bench, bro. <laughs> no, man. Uh, yeah. All right. With that, that brings us <laughs> to yet another end of another episode. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll catch up with you next week to kick back and discuss all the exciting football we have coming this week. Starting off tomorrow with Arsenal Newcastle. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. All right, until next time. All right.